Hello. Um, making this video, I feel like I didn't do much of a reflection on that um, technology goals assignment on Moodle. Uh, honestly, I was in a hurry to get out of the class. So I thought I would send you a video just so you could get a little more information from me. Um, you know, when I walked into the class a few months ago, I really didn't want to take it. Um, I really and just was just so apprehensive about using technology in the classroom for a variety of reasons. Um, foremost, that I thought it was a distraction for students. Um, I now think that it definitely has a place, um, especially with our discussions about the addiction students have to technology and their need for it, that being able to integrate it into class could actually be very beneficial for them. Secondly, um, given where the world is going, they need to know it. They need to know how to integrate this into their lives. And thirdly, from the video we saw today about the hole in the wall, I really think technology can be a great way to, for students to kind of self-teach themselves and to discover things. And I actually use this a lot in my life. I, I go on YouTube and I learn how to play the guitar. I've learned how to tie knots. I've learned how to solve Rubik's Cubes and sharpen an axe on YouTube. I've discovered so many things from technology in my own life. You know, why, why, would I, why should I be apprehensive about my students using it? I, I, I'm seeing now that that's a little ridiculous and that if it's possible to structure their time and to maybe control the content they, they are able to access, I, I really think this sort of technology could be very useful for, for students in projects, especially research projects, where they can self-teach and answer questions. So I do think I've really crossed the hurdle on that, um, the why do we need technology question. We need it. We need to use this in classrooms, and I, I get that now. Um, the other thing is my frustration with technology. Um, I still use a flip phone. Um, I still use maps and compasses, <laughs> and um, I don't really like technology using a whole lot of technology in my day-to-day -day life um, because I I think it. Well, <laughs> on a different note, I uh, I think it removes us from developing certain skills. But I'm going going to go the way of the dinosaur on that one, unfortunately. But the other thing is, technology frustrates me just so much. Um, I can't tell you how many times I left your class just dying to get off the computer and have a beer and did not work on the computer anymore. Um, there were so many times on the LMS and especially on the webcast where I was yelling at my computer for not doing what I wanted it to do. Um, so my frustration with technology hasn't improved. What has improved is that I now know that I can do it. So that fear of failure is gone. That I know I, I can use technology, I can figure it out, I'm just frustrated by it. And I think that as I move forward, using it more, I'll become less frustrated. So as like a future goal, it's to use technology more, to make more videos, to do more review and reflection via this. And to keep updating my website and eventually start using LMS is when I do begin to teach. Um, because they, they are a very useful tool, even with my frustration over them. Um, it's just somewhere I'm going to have to adapt. So that, that's sort of the long-term goal, is just to continue to recognize that technology is very necessary and to continue to become more comfortable with it. Um, sorry that I'm giving you two posts on this. Um, hope you have time to watch this. If not, you know, grade the very short response I gave you. And, it's fine. I'm not going to be upset with you or anything, but um, definitely really enjoyed your class, and uh, talk to you later. Bye.